Hey everybody, here we go, we go. I have a membership. So now I need to uh, figure out who's gonna give me the cochlea. Hi there. Now what? So I will start with you. No, oh, I thought I was already in. Is this a bug? All right, call a vote. I feel good about my chances. Very well. Gentlemen, Goldilocks here would like to join the Brotherhood. Sweet. Voting time. My favorite. Maybe I didn't join it. Maybe I just did the face and then didn't join. Brother Noogie, it's possible. your vote is still yes. Uh huh. Brother Moose, Brother Santino, still yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I vote no. Hey. You said if I beat you in a pirate face-off, I'd be in like Flynn. Wait, I did that yeah, man, already, didn't I? I think you gotta keep your end of the bargain on this one. Oh, all right. But only to maintain the integrity of the Brotherhood. You're all right. Ethics, win again. You have a unanimous vote and a formal invitation to join the democratically united what Brotherhood. What is that animation you're doing, Skybrush? I accept. Do I get a sash? Or a button? No. Welcome, brother. Welcome. Burn in flame! Burn in flame! I think they'd be a hit. What you do receive is the honor of one of the Brotherhood's greatest responsibilities. As the most junior member, you'll be the caretaker of the cochlea. It's the key to our permanent vacay. You're just giving it to me? Got it with your life, brother. Alright. I have the cochlea. It's a lot larger than I am, but they did a very clever job of hiding it, so it it would fit in neatly into an inventory item. Well, all right. Um, I guess the fastest way out is just this way. Actually, do I get any perks if I talk to them and I'm in the club now? Heavy. Take good care of it, brother. It is the key to our freedom. Hey Morgan, would you like a cochlea? Morgan, I got the cochlea! Then go replace it in the ear canal so we can get out of here! I'd like to get you back to Flotsam while I'm young enough to spend the bounty. Well, at least we always have, uh, priorities. One cochlea procured! Uh-huh. We'll be out of here in two shakes of a pirate's booty. Oh, she didn't come in on the, on the booty thing? I thought she'd, uh complain about that, but she didn't. So... Well, I guess I'm supposed to put in the ear canal, but what if I just give it to him? Hey, I've got the cochlea! Ha! I'll believe it when I see it! Trying to get out of grub scrounging duty, no doubt. Well, I'll just go put this back where it belongs, and then it's mating grounds or bust. Well, I am trying to avoid doing the grub thing, because that is a lot of grubs, and that would take a lot of time. So I guess I go up the mast. <laughs> yeah, okay, this wasn't this was a canal. Cochlea. While it may look like it's full of candy, I believe the cochlea is key to this manatee's sense of direction. Yeah, that's for the other ear. I'm like, why is this here? I already have it here. Okay. Here you go, pal. Whoa! I think we're back on course. Ooh, time to get out of here. <laughs> I think I fixed your manatee problem. How about that? I felt the beast rumble and checked my compass. It says that we're right on course. Ancient manatee mating grounds? Here we come! How did you fix his sense of direction? Funny you should ask. I ran into your old crew. My crew? Yeah, and they had the cochlea the entire time. Uh oh. I just pretended I wanted to join their- I'm being watched! And my crew! Yeah, your crew. Alive this entire time. Who would've thunk? You betrayed us! Uh... Oh, hell yeah, I did. They don't seem very happy about it, but you know what? I... Yes, I sold you guys out. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah, I did kinda sell you guys out. We trusted you! Unbelievable, man. Uh, look, guys, I can explain. There's no need. Ah, bug eye, the unlikely voice of reason. Breaking the trust of the Brotherhood has only one consequence. 
<laughs> demerits? Yes, demerits. 100 demerits? Death. Kill him. Hey -o. Morgan, doll, it's killing time. Doll. Excuse me? A trio of bloodthirsty mutineers are gonna pop out of that hole in three, two. What did I say earlier about running to me for help? One. And then there was a wacky chase scene. Okay. T I I'm could use a hand. Crush it. I could use a hand. Ha! He wants help from a girl. Are you still whining over that little scratch I gave you back on the narwhal? But that was an interesting animation. Smite him! Smite him! Let's goad her. Uh, the mutineers were calling you a pansy earlier. No, we weren't. He said you were a wilting flower. That sounds like Guybrush Threepwood. Go time! It's go time, Morgan! I can't just be told when to fight. I'm not some junkyard dog. Yeah, man. Treat a woman with respect, would you? Get him! Okay, I guess we just have to deal with this. Well, I'm sorry about before. Sorry about what? About assuming you were incapable of handling the situation. You are capable. Now, please, show these mutineers your capabilities. And? And you're a mighty bounty hunter. That's sweet. But aren't you forgetting something? No, I'm not giving her the sword back. So you a sad. A snack. You should never enter a battle outnumbered on an empty stomach. No. Oh, he fell. Master minions, kill, kill. <laughs> now Santino or Murray or whichever was in there. Watch moves, crush him. Um, Guybrush would never get away. Betrayer. Huh. What? Oh! What is he holding? Weapon privileges restored. Wait, what was that blue thing that um, Moose was holding? I'll have to look at that again. Thank you. <sighs> Lots of stuff going on in that you manatee. The crew of Coronado de Cava. I would like to establish, for the record, that the four of you were just manhandled by a woman. So in essence, you've been woman handled, which I imagine was not near as pleasant as it sounds. Go dangle your yardum, you traitor! Nice work, Morgan. Thanks, Captain. I mean, thanks, Honey Bunch. Now, Coronado, how do we get out of here? I'm 14 steps ahead of you, mijo. Here, this should do the trick. That's a unique 14. formula of Panamanian prune juice, Ugh. East Indian espresso uh. beans, and booty breakfast bran flakes. Oh, Telltale is going to take the high road on this, right? Digestive system should be our one-way ticket topside. Got it. A few drops in the biggest bile pool I can find. I mean, I guess if you need to go out, that's one way to go. Done but... and done. Quick, everyone on board. Well, I haven't seen any poop jokes yet, so I think we're okay. I guess we're here. Yuck! That could have been worse. Really? Just a quick trip up the blowhole. Manatees don't have blowholes. What? Then... Oh, yeah. Yuck. Hey, about down well, there... Well, so much for the high road. I was a bit of a monkey's ass. No, well, yes, but... I was going to say that your style's not so bad. Uh, nothing if not stylish. Anyway... I work alone, but you and I made a decent team. Hey, lovebirds, quit flapping your gums and get up here. My treasure sits mere fathoms away. <gasps> and my ship, the Howler Monkey. I thought I'd never see you again. I've dropped anchor down to the mating grounds and the cavern of La Esponja Grande. 
Now, if only my lawyer crew was worth a piece of eight, Star Crew Emmer even had the temerity to expire. What's the problem? Santino was not only a world-class swordsman, bullfighter, and pastry chef. He was also, most importantly, an unrivaled skin diver. There is no other man who can survive the swim down to the mating grounds. Guybrush can hold his breath for ten minutes. That is, is that true. So? Yeah, I just... I discovered it in college. Yeah, it's a skill I developed in college. Well then, what are you waiting for, bucko? Well, don't push me, you jerk. The sponge, and make it a snappy! Okay, so I'm looking for the sponge and some treasure. I wonder if, if I was down here for more than 10 minutes, something would happen. Like dying. Hmm. I'm not gonna wait to 10 minutes, but... I'd be interested in knowing if that would happen. Well, that stuff in my pockets really weighs me down. Oh, did I lose stuff? I did. I don't remember what I lost, but some things are missing. Ooh, that is a giant manatee. I'm gonna stay away from you for now and check out this ooh, a treasure chest. Well, let's see here: six thousand doubloons, the jewel crown of Queen Archipelago. Oh, and a golden wrenchy thing. Score. Uh, if I know anything about the Monkey Island games, I have a feeling I'm going to be losing this and this at some point. Warning sign? Leviathan Country. All ocean life is dangerous. Do not approach or feed. So I guess the cave is this way? Yeah, I see you. So the sponge should be in here. So now I'm curious, what was I supposed to do with the manatee, if anything? Uh-oh. This doesn't look safe. This looks like the opposite of safe. I'd even venture to say it's... It's, uh... It's bad stuff. It looks like, um, another manatee, actually. Horrible. Teeth. Gnashing. Ferocious Leviathan. I neglected to mention the Guardian of Lyspawn. What was it? A giant squid? They've been known to hunt and swallow entire corsairs. No. <gasps> Megalodon? Devil whale? Worse. What then? Female. Giant. Manatee. The monster must be tamed, Cheap Whistle. What, a rolled up newspaper? Taming the female is no easy task. Their fickle minds are the greatest of all riddles. Complex, confounding, beautiful. Are we still talking about manatees? Oh boy. I equipped my crew to be able to communicate with the creatures. Alas, Santino was the only one who had learned to understand their song. You would have put all your eggs in one basket, huh? Oh, what an explorer he would have made. Oh, this is either going to be really fun or really bad. All right. Well, since Santino doesn't isn't around anymore, you don't have some cockamamie plan for taking care of the Leviathan? Nothing. I originally spent three months fabricating a giant manatee suitor to be piloted by a crew of fifteen men, all well learned in the ways of bestial romance. But sadly, they were lost during a trial run, mashed peace. Yeesh. Uh, I did play matchmaker earlier in this chapter, so this could be okay. Santino wasn't raised by giant manatees, was he? How could he understand them? Learned it on Flotsam Island, I believe, from a scientist. Oh god, I don't have to talk to that guy, right? Hmm. Even if we could get the winds to work in our favor, I'm not leaving this anchorage. I've come too far to risk losing the location of my super-absorbent prize! Sure, Santino could understand manatee, but how did he make those strange noises to communicate with them? With the tongue of the manatee, of course. What's the deal with you and manatee parts? It's a device that I plan to market to tourists such as yourself after this adventure was complete. It allows you to produce their sounds. Oh, so I don't have to put my mouth on anything gross? 
I asked one of my crewmen to watch after it long ago. Let me guess. Santino. Certainly not. His skills were not to be wasted on such a simple mission. It would have been one of the others, though I'll be slivered if I can remember which one. So one of the mutineers should know where the tongue of the manatee is? I imagine so. Uh, I don't think they're gonna give it to me. I kind of betrayed them, and I kicked okay. their butt. got it. Learn to communicate with the manatee, and La Esponja Grande will finally be within our grasp! But you know, we can be optimistic about this. I'm sure they'd love to... Whoa, here's a fish. I'm gonna take you. Ooh, look at that fish flop. Come here, you! Random. <laughs> um... Okay, so which one of you did it? Let's talk to Morgan first, because I love talking to Mer Morgan. Hey, Morgan. I know you're a cutthroat pirate, here, but do you have any female insight into this manatee problem? You mean the monster? The same. This thing is colossal. Teeth the size of a ship's mask. Been killing any male manatee that gets within a flipper's length. You know, she might seem cold and brutal, but she's probably just, I don't know, lonely. You know? Shouldn't she just stop murdering anything that gets near her cave then? What did you do when she showed her teeth? Hello? I ran away. Right. You know what I think? What's that? She needs another manatee to stand its ground and not be so afraid of her. She kills them because that's all she knows how to do. And if someone could overcome that fear of death and stand in front of her long enough to teach her something different, I think she might just let them. And then we could get the sponge? Yes, and then we could get the sponge. And then we can cure Elaine. Perfect. Talk a male manager oh. standing its ground. Thanks, Mo. You're the best. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh, at some point, I don't think we were talking about manatees anymore. All right. Hey, Mo. Uh, okay. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and thanks. Talk to the mutineers. I'm sure they won't help, <laughs> but we can see. I need information. I'll never break. Oh, interrogations. This could be f this could be interesting. <laughs> We're doing this again? Okay. You you can't intimidate me. I thought you were the scaredy cat of the group. I'm deceptively principled, unlike you, Benedict Arnold. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. I'll go to you eventually. Right, I want to talk to Murray. I'm sure he'll crack. You, Murray. His name is Santino. Uh, Santino. I know you know Diddley. That might be so, but I'll never talk, <laughs> and the wills of these men will be stronger for it. The skull is right. This information won't come easy. Tell Moose to give up his info. Never! I revel in your frustration with my tight-lipped comrade. Brother, it's not so cool now, is it? Wait until we chew through your ropes of oppression and topple your puppet regime. Wow, Murray, you've gone political. <laughs> I just learned all those words. Actually, he could probably chew through those, ro through those ropes. I'm throwing you overboard. Yeah? Try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks! He was going to bite me. You're useless. <laughs> Alright, well that was... Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. That was Murray's contribution. Alright, you. Sorry to have to go and pull you away from your i -Corp. Unbelievable, Brian. I thought you and I were gonna have buckets of good times. Just you, me, Santino, Jumbo Jimbo, partying at the cantina. Maybe hit the mucus flume for a change of pace. Yeah, can't believe I'm gonna miss out on the mucus flume. I want to talk to. Um, you can't stay tough forever. Bug eye watch first. Him. Watch him. Yes, I will watch him. 
I need information. You'll never make me talk. I draw my strength from the Brotherhood. Who had the tongue of the manatee, scumbag? I didn't have it. I can't remember who had it, but it wasn't me. He's oh. telling the truth. What? I didn't even have to do anything. <laughs> Sometimes they break easy, like delicate Fabergé eggs. Look at him. He's a wreck. Just don't hurt me. Fine. Okay, wow, he cracked. I was not expecting that. What else do you know? What else do you know? Nothing. Please let me go. I want to go home. See what you get for being a stick in the mud? We'll see. All right. Talk to you later. Well, all I believe him. Bug Eye doesn't know anything. So, oops! I think I shot the cannon accidentally. It would have been funny if I just uh, sank my boat, but I didn't. I need information. I'll never break. Comfy. You're a betrayer. But do you think Morgan is still into me? Oh yeah. Yeah, definitely. See how you still have all your limbs? That means she cares. Good. Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Never find it, betrayer. Arr! Okay, let's try some other ones. You... you can't intimidate me! Arr! I just don't know if this is actually doing anything. I could try it on the other... Uh, I could try it on Moose, you, but... You can't intimidate me! Okay, I'm pretty sure that this isn't doing anything. Alright, that's enough. Let's talk to Moose. All right, you. Oh, tough guys, huh? Let's see what happens when I tighten the screws. Hurt me all you want. I'll never sing for the man. Yeah, hurt him all you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tongue of the manatee. Who had it? Not telling you, man. I'll never talk. Santino's with me on this. Yeah, we'll rot before you know anything. Solidarity, brother! Santina will snap like a twig. Two are like three times stronger than one. You'll never break either of us. You'll have to kill me! And I'm already dead. You got nothing on us, bro. So maybe if I if I threaten to throw the head out, Miss uh, will break. That's just a thought. Arr! You can't scare me with Santina by my side. The fires of my rage will keep you warm, brother. Okay. Well, you can't stay tough forever. Watch me. Watch him. Uh... I don't know, what if I give you a fish, Santino? I don't want anything bad to happen to this fish. It's all squirming, why is it doing that? <laughs> So he's gonna try to bite me if I do this. I'm throwing you overboard. Yeah, try it, Bumblefingers. Zoinks. Hmm. Talk to you later. Be gone, oppressor. Well, Morgan did have other stuff to talk about. Actually, before I do that, let's see if Dakava has anything to say. Ooh, there's stuff up here. Dakava's locket. Will you drink it or foil wrapped candy for the nougat center? Look all you want, but don't take it. Never noticed this before. Wonder what it does. Skybrush. The voodoo power contained within that locket is not to be meddled with. The last time you fiddled with the powers of voodoo, you stupidly unleashed the powers of. But I did before. I did it earlier in this chapter, so I don't understand. May I have a look at your files? As a trusted member of my crew, there's nothing I wouldn't share with you. Really? Go right ahead. Oh, okay. What? Why does he have a 
File on me. Expert. Tease, insult, swordplay. Turn on. Sort of women? Okay. Doesn't like porcelain? Was that established from an earlier game? I don't remember. Under things? Don't, none of my business. Okay. Keep an eye on this one. Noogie. Whoa. Was he a nun? Hold on. <laughs> Percussion. Noogie? Wait, Noogie is the one with the drums. Oh yeah, so that makes sense. Greatest fear of th is this. So can I take it? Yeah, I, I I thought he had a he had that sort of kink. So that's why I tried to throw the the thing at him in the, in the last video. The rock. Oh well, let's take Whoa, this picture. Look at the mug on that nun. That'll make him break. Whoa! Look at the mug on that nun. Oh, this is a face. I need to know. Okay. So this is. Oh shoot, how am I gonna do that? I know that's... Well, okay, it's a big smile, and there's a squint, and they're cross-eyed. Oh, it's cross-eyed, squint, happy, let's Whoa, let's look see at what the happens. Mug on that nun. While I remember it. I'll look at the other ones later. Let's just get down here first, before I forget the face. But yeah, okay, so it looks like I need to do that face to make him break. I need information. I'll never break. Arr! Okay, I think it was cross eyed. I think it was this one. No, I think it was stinky. Monkey? Could be this. Stop! Okay, there we go. Please, no, Sister Agnes. Noogie, sorry. Who had the tongue of the manatee or you get the face again? I don't know. It wasn't me. I can't remember, though. You've got to believe me. I do. But does Sister Agnes? Please! He doesn't know. Oh, all right. My face cramps up when I do it anyway. Yeah, I had a figure that Moose has it. But I need to threaten Murray, so... Oh well. Hey, Mo. Let's talk more. About this female manatee? Yeah. Get a male manatee to stand its ground. Then what? Oh, I could teach him the courting dance of the Monkey Island Cannibals. Or how about you get him to string a coherent sentence together? A little humor doesn't hurt either. Again, I don't think we're talking about manatees. <laughs> hey, you work for DeSinge. How can I get back to Flotsam? I need him to teach me how to understand manatee. The next time you set foot on Flotsam, you'll be dissected. Catchy. You ever consider a career with their Chamber of Commerce? Failing there isn't an option. Lose your heart on Flotsam Island, along with your spleen. What you need is a way to get to Flotsam without being on Flotsam. Hey, that sounds like a puzzle. <laughs> you really are warming up to my shit. Alright. Well, that's for later. I would imagine. Do you know anything about the language of manatees? No. I speak a little monkey, though. Can I borrow your sword for a minute? Just for a minute. Oh, okay. This will get me close enough to uh, Santino. Okay. Hey, Mo. Those mutineers have information. I've got ways of making them talk. Uh, I bet you do, but you know what? I think I've got this. Yeah? Yeah. Alright. Thanks. I want to look at the other files, but I'm pretty sure what I need to do is use the sword to threaten uh, Murray's head. But I want to look at the other files. <laughs> A.K.A. Senior uh, Santastigor. Santastigo, San Mantino. Wow. He is... That's an impressive resume. <laughs> Being Santino is his turn on. Um, alright. Uh, 
Uh, this is not as interesting. Bit of a fuss budget? I've never heard of that word before. Oh well. Well, that was not as as fun as that could have been. Um, but I think I know the puzzle here. What I'm gonna do is this. Sorry, it had to come to this. The tongue of the manatee location, or someone here will never need a milliner again. Uh, a milliner? Hat maker. A hatter. I'm cutting off somebody's head. <laughs> You don't have the stones. Don't I? You don't scare me with your sharp, shiny stick, puny mortal. I am Santino, the incontrovertible demonic skull. And I shall... Three words! Bye, Murray. Nice to see you again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, man! What? What happened? We can't see! He did it! He's crazier than a sack of eels, man! What did he do? Santino's dead! Ah! <laughs> I had it. Please, bra. Don't hurt anyone else. Yeah, I knew you had it. That's true? It's Jimbo, the i funnel. That's the tongue of the manatee. I left it back in the big guy's stomach. <sighs> Can't believe he's gone. Ah. Okay. So I have to get back inside the manatee. What is it, Swabby? Oh god, I'll talk to you later. Alright, that's enough. Shoot yourself. So it looks like I need to manage to get myself back into the water and get the thing from um, inside the inside the manatee, so I'll have to deal with that. I have plenty of stuff that'll help me out. Oh, maybe I should return her sword, just so I can be nice. Just for once, I will be nice. There you go. Here's your sword back. Uh, hold on to it. You might need it. Oh. Oh, I can get it back whenever I want. Alright, well, at least I offered. So, looks like that's all I'm going to do for this episode, so thanks for watching, and I will see you later.